Hi there. Um, welcome to this next video. This is just going to be a really short one. There's not really much to explain in this because if you've been making music, even if you're kind of new to music production, every synth has a matrix of some fashion. So if you haven't come across this already, I would be shocked and stunned. And it's pretty self-explanatory in Zebra, although it does have what look like a few unique things. So it's the matrix here. And we've got mod, via and target. Mod selects the primary modulator, and it uses a bipolar amount, so that's negative and positive. Via is the secondary modulator, which uses a bipolar amount, which is negative and positive. It basically controls how much of the primary modulator, so this one, reaches the target. And the target is whatever the parameter is that you want to control. That simple. I'll show you how it works. Say we want to control the tuning of oscillator 1, by using the modulation wheel on your keyboard. So, the target is the tuning of oscillator 1. So you go to oscillator 1, tune, as you can see here, target, oscillator 1. We want it to be modulated via, so we want, via means what are we going, what, what are we going to modulate it with. Now, I want to use the modulation wheel, so I click on that, go to modulation wheel, job done. Then, what do I want to use to modulate it? In this case, I'm going to use LFO1. So if I go here, click on LFO1. So I have now got LFO1 modulating the oscillator's tuning parameter and the modulation wheel will define or set out how much it's modulated depending on what this is set to. So if I press a key and move the modulation wheel, it shouldn't do anything. Absolutely nothing. Now if I turn this all the way up, what do you think will happen? Nothing again. Why is that? Because we haven't told it to modulate using the LFO amount yet. So if I turn the, the, the LFO full positive up, Now, because this is up full, when the modulation wheel on my keyboard is up full, it's using the maximum modulation amount. But I can change that. If I only want it to modulate a little bit, put it there. Okay, yeah, sorry, I got myself a little bit confused there. Because it's at zero here, and the modulation of the LFO is up, and it's already attached to a target, i.e. the tuning, because it's full. As soon as I push a key, it will go to maximum modulation. So it's pretty much bypassing the modulation wheel. Now, why is that doing that? It's because the modulation wheel is at down, off, basically. But if I put it to up, it will modulate fully. So that's just something to remember. When it's full up, and the modulation wheel's down, nothing will happen until you move the modulation wheel. When it's off, it will happen 100% because the modulation wheel's been removed from the equation. So basically, that's the same as not having anything there at all. And of course, you've got all these different parameters that you can use. All kinds of stuff. Envelopes. So as you can see, that can be quite crazy. You can get lots of fun with that. Very simple, very easy, but great fun. So again, selects the primary modulator, in this case, the LFO. This selects the tool that you want to use to send a specific amount of that modulation to the target. In this case, it's the MSEG, but it can be anything, anything you like. Envelope.
So we're now using the envelope and the target. And as you can see, there's 12 of those. So you can get really crazy. And you've still got the modulation sections up here. So pretty self-explanatory. Mess around with some of the possibilities. You can even assign it to a performance. It's like an on-off there, I guess, but it's probably because... Of these settings here, but you can mess around with everything. Great for live stuff, I guess. But yeah, just mess around. Experimentation is the key. But yeah, the matrix, pretty simple. So, once more. Envelope 1. Controlling... Let's put that into quad, and we'll use it to control the wave. Let's use it to each one. Why not? And we'll use the pitch wheel. Yeah, I could just I could mess around with this stuff for days, um, and just get carried away myself. So yeah, there you go. Matrix is easy. Twelve slots to control pretty much anything with anything else. Just go crazy. I hope that helped you out. I'll see you in the next video.